All right, let's turn in our Bibles, please, to Matthew chapter 16. We will read verses 13 to 19. I just want us to spend a few moments this morning just looking at this text, just bringing out some simple truths, perhaps more as reminders to all of us, things that are so important to our Christian faith. When Jesus asks the question, who do you say that I, the Son of Man, is? Who do you say that I am? It's very important. And I think that's a very important question for you and me. Who do we, who do you say Jesus Christ is? And at that moment, going back to Matthew 16, Jesus, uh, John Peter says back to Jesus, he says, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus told Peter, Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And then Jesus continued. In this passage, we see the two I wills of Jesus. And I want to just spend some time on that. Jesus said, I will build my church. And he also said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Jesus is building his church. And if Jesus is building, if Jesus is constructing, if he is assembling the church, no man on earth, no power of hell can stop the church from being built. Amen? People can do whatever they want, but nobody can stop it because Jesus is building his church. He said, I will build my church. That's definitive. That's final. It's happening. Nobody can stop it. The light shines brighter where it is darkest. Amen? Amen. And the light is needed where it is darkest. So Jesus said, I will build my church. And then he continued as if to tell us something about the purpose of the church. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So it seems like Jesus is saying, this is one of the reasons why I'm assembling a people on earth, calling them together for a purpose. Their assignment is the gates of hell. So the gates of hell represent areas of demonic domination. And the church should advance there. Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not stop my church. That means the church is here, has been assembled here on earth to move towards the gates, move towards those areas of demonic domination, move towards those places where you see the enemy at work. You go to the gates, you know, you move there. You intentionally, knowingly, purposely go to the gates because you are the church and the church has an assignment for the gates of hell. So Jesus said, the gates of hell will not prevail. Now, why? Because he continues. And I will give to you the keys of the kingdom. The keys represent authority. And who has the keys? And I will give to you, meaning the church, the body that he's assembling, the people who are being built upon this rock. I will give to you the keys of the kingdom. The keys are in my hand. So I bind and I lose. I forbid and I, I, I forbid and I allow, I permit. That authority is in your hands as a believer. And what must we do? Speak words in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we speak. That's how authority is exercised. And in this passage, Jesus identified one of those purposes. 
the gates of hell. Go to the gates of hell. Go to areas of demonic domination. Go to the places where the devil is active, doing things that he shouldn't be doing, troubling people, tormenting people, oppressing people. Go there, the gates of hell. They will not prevail. You go with the attitude, these gates, these works of darkness will not prevail. And you go knowing that you've been authorized with the keys of the kingdom. He's already given it to you. He's looking to you to use those keys.